Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning again. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. Long live to everyone. In the day-to-day -day life of the ecumenical movement in the Philippines, it is constantly a struggle for peace and justice, but I'm always reminded of three things. When we constantly confront the issue of power and power relations, be it state power or what the churches perceive as their power, three things come to my mind. And the first thing is always locate the church, especially the institutional church, as one who serves. Remember Mark 10 in the Gospels. Second, behave as a weaver, the one who makes this. And I was saying over breakfast this morning in the 10 member churches of the National Council, we always say every time a chicken passes by, there are at least theological 10 theological opinions. <laughs> and then the third thing that I always remember is that whether the church will engage in the issues of justice and peace, and in the struggle for justice and peace, there will always be movements of people for justice and peace. God is in the midst of the assembly onward and toward the new heaven and the new earth. Theology and liturgy are important, but let us not forget that in, lest in our desire to be theologically astute and liturgically all right, we lose the people. Magandang umaga po, mabuhay po kayong lahat. 